morning. Whether you have joined us every Sunday for the past three weeks, or this is your first time here, it's great to see you this morning, and welcome to SGBC Children's Worship. I hope you have finished your breakfast, put away all your toys and things that will distract you, and have your Bible ready. Let us give our very best to God for the next 15 to 20 minutes. First, let's bow our head and pray. Our Heavenly Father God, you are worthy to receive all the glory and honor and power because you have created all things and for your love and pleasures, all things are created. The world belongs to you. All the earth worship and sing praises to you. Come, let us bow down this morning. Let us kneel before the Lord. Let us worship our Creator. Let his name be praised. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now last week we had such a great time praising God with the Chung's family. This week we have invited Charmaine and her mom and dad to lead us in worship. Let us stand up, praise God with our singing voice and our outstretched arms. How great is our God. to do some more praising and dancing. Let's continue to worship God with every move you can make. And it starts with a few na na na. Ready?
It's so much fun praising God. Now you can all sit down. Oh, it's so hot dancing and singing, but it's fun. Now today is the first Sunday of June. It seems like a lot of things have stopped since March break. We stopped going to school. Our parents stopped going to the office to work. People stopped going to restaurants. And many factories and shops are closed. Less people are traveling around by boats, by trains, or by airplanes. Around the world, lots of things has happened. Now lately, there are some images coming out from the Europe Space Agency satellite, and it showed that the level of nitrogen dioxide over some cities in Asia, which is here, and Europe, which is here, has gone down as much as 40% as compared to last year. And because of the lockdown, people in India over here, they, in some regions, people can see the Himalayas mountain for the first time in 30 years because pollutions drop to the lowest level. In Venice, Italy, like the boot-shaped country over here, the canals are clearer than ever due to the reduced boat traffic and dolphins have, are returning and can be seen swimming in the canals. In the U.S., on the west coast, in San Francisco, um, coyotes have been spotted on the Golden Gate Bridge. And on the other side of America, in Washington, uh, deers are grazing near the homes a few miles from the White House. On the other side of the world, in England, in Wales, over here at the top, uh, not, not the very top, but the, close to the top, they have seen ships and goats on the streets and in people's front yard eating their grass. Now, even though a lot has changed, the planet Earth still keeps on turning round and round and round as it's ever have been since it, has, was since it was created. The sun still comes up every morning and goes down every evening. Our God, the Creator, is still in control and He has the whole world in His hand. So let's sing the next song. holds you dearly in his hand. So this morning, I have put your name in this bag here, and I'm going to draw up a couple names. Now, when we drop your names, we're going to sing, and sing that God will have you in his hands as well. So I'm going to draw up maybe, um, maybe three names this morning, or maybe four. Let's see. So first one I've drew up is uh, Gabriel and Caitlin. Let's pin it up here so that I don't forget. Okay, let's draw two more, or maybe three more. So let's see. Okay. Oh, this one is Clayton and Burton. Okay, let's draw one more. We're gonna sing. Uh, God has Gabriel and Caitlin in His hands, and then we're gonna sing. God has uh, 
Clayton and Burton in his hand. And then we're going to go for uh, the next one, which is Jaden and Maxton, okay? So we're going to sing this again, but this time we're going to put your name on there, okay? So let's try this, okay? Ready? <laughs> in his hand. The very first book of the Bible tells us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Then it goes on to tell the story of God's creation. Now let's turn your Bible to Genesis chapter 1, the very first book of the Bible. It's very easy to find in the very beginning. Okay, turn to Genesis chapter 1 and you can follow his creation story. In verse 2 it say, in the beginning, the earth was empty and there was only darkness. The first thing that God created was light. The Bible tells us that God said, let there be light and there was light. Verse 3. Then God thought, hmm, there need to be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters on earth. Verse 8. So God made a space to separate the earth from the heavens. He call it sky. Next, God brought all the waters of the earth together to make the oceans and the sea and to create dry land between them. Verse 11. Then he covered the dry land with flowers, trees, and grass. God paused. He looked at the beautiful trees and flowers and said, this is good. Then he continue on with his creation. Verse 16. He created the sun, moon, and star. They were beautiful. God looked at them and again he said, That is good. Then God created the fish in the sea and the bird in the sky. Verse 22. He blessed them and told them to multiply so that the sea would be filled with fish of all shapes and size and air would be filled with beautiful birds. God looked at them, smiled and said, that is good. Finally, God made animals, tall skinny giraffes and furry little squirrels, very cuddly little kittens and big ferocious lions. And he created animals of every kind. Then God made men and women. Verse 26, the Bible say, He made them to be like him, and he put them in charge of all that he had created. The fish in the sea, the birds of the air, and every living creature. When God has finished, he looked at all that he had created and said, That is very good. Now, as the weather is getting warmer, I encourage each of you to take a walk outside sometime next week. As you walk, look at all that God has created. Give thanks. And remember, not only were we created in God's image, but he placed us in charge of his creation. 
Listen to what King David says in Psalms chapter 8, verse 6 to 9. You made human beings rule over everything your hands created. You put everything under their control. They rule over all flocks and herds and over the wild animals. They rule over the birds in the sky and over the fish in the ocean. They rule over everything that swims in the ocean. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in the whole earth. As we look at all that God has created, let's remember it is up to us to take good care of it. Let us pray. The Heavenly Father, we thank you for all of creation. We thank you for life and for life eternal through Jesus Christ, your Son. Help us to take good care of all that you have given us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now please join me to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Next Sunday is our church's birthday. Remember to send in your project today. This is the last day you can send it in. And we have a special speaker for our worship next week. So don't miss it. So it is Haley's birthday tomorrow and she's turning six. So we're going to wish Haley a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Haley. We are also celebrating Sophie's birthday on Tuesday. We thank God for the amazing talents he has given her. Happy birthday, Sophie. May you continue to grow in favor with our Lord. Boys and girls, this is the end of our worship today, and I hope to see you next week to celebrate our church anniversary. Goodbye.